Can you say hi, Satchmo? Say hi. Hello everyone, this is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today I was going to share with you my favorite go-to blushes. I have a few different cream products as well as some of my favorite powder products that I really like for more aging, mature skin. Um, and what I'm going to start out with is my current go-to absolute favorite combo <laughs> out of all of them. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you won't be surprised as to what it is, but um, it is the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks and this color is in petal. You guys, I just cannot get enough and I really want to buy another one of these blushes. They're just so easy to use, super cream to use, and this color in petal is just such a great neutral. I absolutely love it. Now, the next product is not technically a blush, but the combo that I have been using and loving um, again, you will not be surprised if you've been watching any of my videos, but I'm absolutely in love with the Westman Atelier Super Liquid Highlighter in Peau de Peche. So I have been using this kind of as a blush topper, and it is just such a gorgeous, I know it's technically a highlighter, but I've been using it, these two in combination together, as my blush and I just absolutely love it. I cannot get enough of these combos. They're just easy to use. They melt right into the skin and they look really super natural. So this is my number one combo um, that I love. Now one more I'm going to tell you about is another clean and green product. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Cure Weiss Blush. And this one is in Desired Glow. Now again, you guys know I love a good cream blush. This color is absolutely beautiful. So it is supposed to give you just that sun-kissed um, glow. And I'm going to give you a little swatch here. It is just a gorgeous color, kind of terracotta, um, but it blends out, it shears out beautifully on the skin. So this is another one of these kind of clean and green brands that I just absolutely love their blushes. They have beautiful colors and this just again kind of melds right into the skin. Okay, then my next favorite powder blush is going to be the Tom Ford and this is in Inhibition. This is what I'm wearing today, and it's just my go-to powder blush. Again, this is a beautiful formula. I know it's ridiculously expensive. This is one of these that I bought on sale, and it is just a gorgeous, uh, kind of neutral, I would say leaning on the peachy side. You guys, the powder, they're just, it's so finely milled and it has sort of a creamy con consistency. And this is Tom Ford in Inhibition. And you guys, it just goes on your skin so smoothly and just again, melts into the skin, but it also um, tends to stay all day. So this is where I would say this is Yes, it is a splurge, but it is a gorgeous color and it really does last. And again, that you get, one thing is with Tom Ford, you get a lot of product. So this is going to be last for years. Um, so if you're in the mood for trying a Tom Ford blush, um, this is a beautiful color, Inhibition. Just love that one. Um, another blush that I love, that is a powder, is going to be the Marc Jacobs, and this is in Flesh and Fantasy. I really love this as well because it's just a really beautiful neutral color. It has a little bit of highlight in the blush as well, and I'm going to give you just a little, this is what this one looks like over here. It's much lighter. It's just a really fantastic nude kind of beautiful blush. 
I honestly, it's just a go-to gorgeous shade. If you wanted to build it up, you could definitely just use the top pan over here. Let me show you this. And see, it's slightly different. I know that's not the best to watch you guys. Sometimes with blushes, you cannot see. Um, they look, this is one thing I had to say is I was trying to swatch these in store and I wasn't really getting the big hype about it until I actually purchased one and they are just beautiful on the skin. Um, it's a really good formulation and again, you get a lot of product in this blush. Um, okay, next thing is one of these surprising blushes that I think is funny. So this looks like nothing in the pan, like literally. Um, this is NARS in Madly. And this is one of my favorite NARS blushes, but in the pan, it looks like, I mean, it kind of even looks a little ugly. Um, and then I'm going to give you a swatch. And again, doesn't look like much. And here is, again, this is a little bit hard to swatch. There's the right, ah, it's hard to get this. There we go. Let's see if I can get that. It is right here again. Doesn't look like much on the skin. I'm actually gonna put a little bit on for you because it is a really, really pretty blush. And it's just one of these surprising blushes. I just would wear it all the time. Um, and But the color in the pan is just one that you really, you know, honestly, if they had not put this color on me, um, like in store, I would have never gone up and bought it. It's just a really pretty, can you see that you guys? Just a nice neutral go-to blush. It is just really super pretty and they have always done a really great job, NARS has with their blush. So this is in Madly. And then last but not least, you guys, this is a palette and I'm trying to find out if it's still available. Um, but they have these individually, so that's why I'm bringing this up. I love, love, love the Hourglass blushes. Um, and this happens to be, these are the um, incandescent, the ambient lighting blushes. And this is incandescent Electra right here. This is my favorite brilliant nude here in the middle. Um, maybe I have it wrong. And then Euphoric Fusion, I'm sorry. So this is Euphoric Fusion, the Brilliant Nude, and then the Incandescent Electra. Um, and you guys, these ones, oof, so pretty. And they are absolutely gorgeous, again, on more mature skin. So this is just um, a favorite palette of mine. And I really particularly love that nude shade, shadow. I'm just gonna show you just a little bit. I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna be having loaded up with blush today. <laughs> but I just wanna show you um, just that it has a little bit of, um, can you see that? It's just super pretty there, just easy. And I'm gonna go up just a little bit, guys going to blend this out just a little bit. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to see now again, one thing is even with this palette, um, I remember this being a little bit hard to see in store. So I'm going to swatch each of these for you to see if you can see just one minute. And they are just, they're so smooth and creamy. Okay. So I'm going to come up here guys. These are the hourglass in this beautiful palette. Those are just super beautiful. And I actually have to tell you, I love every single one of them. The ones, the two that I probably use the most is the nude and this guy right here. And that's the euphoric fusion. Just a super pretty gorgeous. Um, these particular ones have a little bit of that um, strobe lighting in. I believe that they're swirled together with some of the strobe um, powders. So it gives you that highlight and blush all in one. So I just feel like I don't have to go that extra step if I wanted to put um, highlight on. So those are my favorite go-to blushes. 
Um, I would think, honestly, you would be happy with any of the above. <laughs> um, but as I said at the beginning, you guys, my go-to combo right now has been my Westman Atelier. Um, I just have been super enjoying those, but I have to be honest, all these other ones I'm mentioning have at some time or point been my go-to for months on end. Um, so I hope this was helpful and there is a bunch of these products that you can buy at Sephora. So you can buy Tom Ford, you can buy Hourglass in the individual, um, any of the Hourglass blushes. Honestly, you can't go wrong. Um, Tom, the Marc Jacobs you can buy at Sephora, NARS you can buy at Sephora. Those all um, are just options with the big Sephora sale coming up. I think it's this coming, um, maybe it's this coming weekend. I'll link it down below. But just wanted to give you a little heads up. Those are my go-to blushes. And again, thank you for watching. And I will be back with another video soon.